Yo, yo, yo. What is up, guys? Nick Nakai here, Let's Drift Media. Thank you for coming back to the channel, or if it's your first time here, don't forget to subscribe. So on today's episode, uh, we are going to be checking out the DND Echo Bluetooth wireless scanner. Uh, they were nice enough to send me one of these to check out and show you guys some of the ins and outs. Maybe you guys are thinking about this or looking for a pocket scanner for your vehicle, whether you're a DIY mechanic or you're a flat rate tech. Um, scanners come in handy for everybody, so let's get started. So I'll give you guys a couple details about this scanner before we plug it in. It works with iOS or Android, whatever you're running. It's got the ability to view live data streams for all control modules on your vehicle. Uh, read check engine light codes, clear check engine light codes, read freeze frame data, perform EVAP test, and check smog monitor readiness, see if your vehicle is ready for smog. And last but not least is price on this bad boy is gonna be 105 bucks on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. And just a disclaimer, I do not get no commission whether or not you guys click that link and buy a scanner. Um, this video is solely for information for you guys to decide whether or not this would be something you'd be interested in. I'm gonna be plugging this into my beautiful 2017 Lexus CT200. It's basically a Prius with leather trim for anyone wondering. But first things first, we're gonna find the OBD2 port, which is right up here. We're gonna go ahead and plug this guy in. See it booted up and we got a green light. Next, we'll go ahead and key on. So since the scanner is phone based, you're gonna go ahead and have to download the DND Plus app, which you'll have the QR code for. So we'll go ahead and enter that now. Let it boot up. I'm gonna do a screen recording right now so you guys can see more. So in the main menu, you can see it already recognized my vehicle. This is the basic display we got going. You can click on the top left. If you wanna change uh, for another vehicle, but I already have mine saved. Uh, we're just gonna go and check the enhanced diagnostics, get started. I did already cause a check engine light on this vehicle. I unplugged the coil pack for cylinder number two, number two, as well as a mass airflow sensor. So I'll go ahead and uh, get that code going. Let's see, we are misfiring pretty bad. Go back to key on. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the full deep scan, system scan. You can see it'll read out loud what it's scanning. Now this is taking not too long. But obviously you're gonna sit here for a couple seconds. If you wanted to just scan the engine control module, you can do that. But I believe right now we're just scanning all the ECUs in the vehicle, so. But still pretty fast. It's one thing I really like on scan tools is the speed when I just wanna figure out the code. But let's go ahead and go into engine and ECT. Gives you a description of what's inside that ECM. We're gonna read fault code. We got a PO102, mass airflow circuit low, PO113, intake air temp circuit high, 352, ignition coil B, primary circuit, more codes. It's weird how it looks like it just duplicates a lot of them. But yeah, we got about four co codes. So let's go ahead and check reports, what is that? So if you go to reports, I guess it'll kind of give you possible repair suggestions or uh, kind of point you in the right direction. So for that PO102, it's saying a dirty air filter, possible dirty mass airflow sensor, possible harness open or shorted, poor electrical connections, and it'll give you some kind of advice. Check uh, possible causes listed above, visually inspect the wiring and connectors, check for damaged components, same with the other fault codes. So that's kind of cool. Kind of points you in the right direction. Um, I mean, of course you can just grab these codes and do a quick Google search to kind of figure out what you're doing or say you're working at home. If you're not 
with the luxury of having um, manufacturer repair manuals, this is kind of cool. That is pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and plug everything back in and then we're going to clear the fault memory. All right. Start the vehicle. The check engine light is still on, but I need some AC up in here. I'm going to go ahead and clear fault memory. You sure you want to clear? Yes. Fault memory cleared. Super fast. Now, no trouble codes. Let's say for reports. Nothing. Okay. We'll go ahead and go back. Go check out the data stream. Let's see what it shows us. So we can either select all or we can manually select what exactly you want to view. All the data streams in the ECU, of course. Which there are a lot in the engine control module. We're just going to go ahead and hit all and see what it brings up. So if you do all, you get about 15 pages of data stream. Let's see how fast it updates. And that's pretty quick for a wireless connection. You do have to scroll through all the pages. Looks like it only loads up about eight streams per page, which isn't too bad though. So let's go ahead and get out of the engine control module. Uh, let's see, what else would we want to check out? We're gonna go ahead and then go into the tire pressure monitoring system. Read fault codes, no fault codes. Say you did have a faulty tire pressure sensor, you can figure out which one based off the code, and then you could come into the data stream. And figure it out, because you can see it'll give you the ID code for which sensor it is. I mean, obviously, it, you're not gonna know left, right, or left front, left rear based off the ID code, you would have to deflate some pressure out of the rest of them and see which sensor is not reading when you change the tire pressure. That's how I would diagnose them back at the dealership. That pretty much sums up a lot of the live data. Uh, we're going to go ahead and check out this little middle column. Uh, this would be just other basic checks. This is, I believe, where you can check the, the monitor readiness. So we're going to hit OBD pool mode. Again, if you want to view more data streams, freeze frame data right there. You have vehicle information. Uh, a lot of useless information. You can perform the EVAP test. Say you did some repairs on your EVAP system. If you had an EVAP leak and you wanted to verify those repair repairs. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go to smog test. I feel like this one's kind of useful for these small scanners to make sure all your monitors are passed and ready to go before you go to smog your vehicle. You can see we have 10 monitors ready, 4 not ready. It's probably because I just cleared the check engine light. So I'm going to have to do a couple of drive cycles to reset all those. Here's a couple of the reset features I was talking about. Really not much, just the battery reset. I know certain BM or BMWs in general, you got to reset the computer when you install a new battery so it knows. Uh, oil light reset if you have a maintenance light on your vehicle. I would double check though because I did go to oil reset on my Lexus and I couldn't find my vehicle in here. So yeah. Not too sure what's up with that. I mean, again, on Toyotas though, you just hold the odometer button to reset your oil maintenance light. So not too big of a deal. But if that's something you were looking to use it for, I would um, double check that. Pretty much sums up what this scanner can do. Again, like I said, it's nothing crazy, but these little scanners are nice to kind of just keep in the car with you for emergencies. Say you get a check engine light, you're on the road and uh, you want to make sure it's nothing serious and the vehicle is still safe to drive or you should get the vehicle towed home before you end up stranded on the side of the road. Um, just viewing the code to kind of give you some information or if you want to use it as a full-blown scanner to do diagnostics, this stuff will come in handy and it's pretty cool. Not bad for the price, but you decide if it's right for you. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you again, DND, for sending me the scanner and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace!